Hey guys, what's up? My name is Tom Spark and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing more of an update type of video. This is a video talking about a new update I did to my VPN tier list and my comparison table. Um, I recently decided to make the ranking system and category system of my ratings more strict, uh, mainly in the streaming compatibility category. So before we had price, app, speed, reputation, support, and extra services. An extra service I bundled kind of like how well it works with Netflix as well as the simultaneous connections. However, simultaneous connections, most VPNs really do kind of have like five or more, which is good and not something I needed to mention too much. Only a, a VPN really that doesn't have that many is like ExpressVPN, which is like three, which is kind of odd since they're like the most expensive. But anyways, this new stream compatibility tab is going to have a lot of information. It took me quite some time to test every single one of these VPNs over in the last couple days. Basically, what you could find on this chart is every single compatibility with this specific VPN. And with the VPNs going forward, I'm also going to be rating them that way as well. So what does this mean? Well, it's going to be hard for a lot of VPNs to get higher than a 4 or even get a 5 um, to be truly streaming compatible. In order to get a five, you have to be able to work with Hulu, BBC iPlayer, Amazon Video, and Netflix. Now I could have tested more, but quite honestly, if it's gonna work with these, it's probably gonna work with others as well, since these are often the most strict. So as you could see here, um, the overall, every VPN has gotten, I guess what you would say, nerfed. Um, some VPNs, like ExpressVPN, it couldn't get working at all. So they really got hurt here, got lowered in rankings. Um, and I also kind of color coded the final tier of each VPN as you could see here just made it a little bit more easy for you to see and I also put some more information uh, here about what I'm going to be looking for in each category going on forward. This is mainly kind of like how I critiqued each section of the VPN and you can even see the upcoming reviews that I'm planning on doing right here. But the cool thing guys is that you can click on each single little note and see exactly what each VPN works with. Now this was tested just uh, as I said the last couple of days. Um, I might have to do more tests in the future with streaming compatibility to check what kind of VPNs change, what kind of VPNs don't work with other stuff because in a lot of VPNs, um, it kind of changes month by month or even year by year depending on which streaming services they're working with currently, depending on the IPs they're using and how aggressive the services are blocking these VPNs. So the only two VPNs I really recommend for streaming perfectly are gonna be Private VPN and TorGuard VPN. Now TorGuard VPN is unique because it sells streaming IPs and stuff like that, um, which make it pretty much unblockable. It's gonna be an add-on price, but when you consider you could use a discount code, it's actually gonna be cheaper than other VPNs out there. It's gonna be around $9 a month. $60 a year. Um, we do have private VPN as well, which is more expensive than TorGuard, around $11 a month. Um, but you don't really have to mess around with these IPs and add-ons and stuff like that, which means it's a little bit easier to use, um, but perhaps not as reliable. However, it does work with every streaming service I tested, specifically because they have different servers in the app and they categorize it so it's easy to find which server to use with each specific service. Anyways, guys, this is just a quick update on my ranking system here. Uh, just want to be transparent with how I'm going to be moving forward. Um, and ranking uh, VPNs more strictly with the streaming compatibility. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of this video. Um, and remember to keep up to date with this uh, comparison table. Go to vpntierless.com where you can see the VPNs organized by tiers and also a link to this table on that website as well with a little picture you could click on. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you again very soon. As always, stay secure.